it's interesting that we call this the Trayvon Martin case, right? Cases are usually who the accused is. This right, is the right. George Zimmerman right. case. Right. Trayvon Martin is a victim, right. Right. right? But we also think about it, we ask, when, uh, just in the moment that we're in, we're 20 years past the LA uprising, right? right. 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 And, and this commemoration, we still remember as the Rodney King incident. I was about $20 you can tell me the four cops, right. right, who were accused of that. That we don't even have the language to see black males, right, in the space of being a full victim. So even our cases are named after us as though we are the ones who are already criminalized, right? right. 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 That's in the way that like, language functions that when we think about how we have the idea of black masculinity, right? So we see the Trayvon Martin case, the Rodney King incident, right, as opposed to this idea of who is assailing or black, Oscar or Oscar Grant, or Sean Bell, or Mamiya, or any of the but it's this really weird, not weird, it's a very detrimental space, right, when we think about the possibilities of language in terms of performing who is a victim, who's an assailant, who is possible with this, that even in the moment where Drayvon Martin, there's this effort to make him the perfect victim, Right. right, initially, right, that that work has to be done because he's already, the case has already framed him as an assailant, right, just regardless the, that's of That's the social linguistics of colonialism mm -hmm. versus globalization. Right. Just, just the right. use of the, real quick, I mean, like, the yes. suggests, mon like, all-encompassing, monolithic, mm -hmm. right, so, like, the Trayvon Martin case, the, your, you know, and so it's kind of like, and the scary thing about that is, on the flip side of that, the makes it sound like it's only gonna happen once. Like, mm -hmm. it's like this kind of singular yeah. occurrence. Yeah, the yeah. Oscar Grant case, oh, Oscar Grant's not gonna happen anymore. The Sean Bell case, okay, Sean Bell's not gonna happen. So it's like, when we, I mean, it adds that sense of urgency that people are looking for when traumatic experiences happen like that, but it kind of covers and skips over. Well, can we get to the root of why there's all these different the, insert your name here, yeah. cases, that kind of gets overlooked, that's also problematic. Well, and that's I mean, I think those some of that naming is, uh, you know, some some surrogacy for it, for the the one I always go back to is the Negro problem. Mm -hmm. You know, I teach I teach Du Bois through Harlem Renaissance, and, and this this idea of the Negro problem comes up, and I and I always ask classes, well, whose problem is the Negro problem? <laughs> you know, why is the Negro is the Negro being called the problem? Does the Negro have a problem? <laughs> you know, needs to be fit. You know, and and so I, you might even take it back to the white man's burden. Right. You know, yeah. whose burden? <laughs> who's 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 Burning home, you know, so I'm um, mm -hmm. or the souls of white folk. Mm -hmm. right. uh, so, uh, no, I think it's uh, I think it's a sad statement on our the entrenchment of this idea of, of really, um, unfortunately, black people and black bodies is something that need, that need to be dealt with, you know, in some way or another, dealt with. 